so tough? Uh, you know, they have great guard play. You know, and they have, you know, pretty good intangibles. You know, they have other guys that you really don't expect to, to play well, that, that really play well. I mean, Sanders kind of has been thrown in our side. Uh, Mabuto, he's played well in the last two games. And, you know, we focus so much on the two guards, that's what happens. You know, other guys like that step up and, and kill you. Mm-hmm. Is it a little different for you from Wednesday? Wednesday you had it just going. Tonight you pretty much had to get it going because the guy's shots weren't falling to other guys. Well, I mean, different? It's crazy. <laughs> that's a team game. Regardless of how I'm playing, you know, we, we got to uh, do better in stretches. Uh, I think, you know, when our offense – uh, isn't going for long stretches. We got to be able to defend. You know, at the beginning of the fourth quarter, we go into the quarter up like seven or eight, and we instantly got to give away the lead. You know, and that's the kind of case where even if our shots aren't falling, we got to be able to come down and get stops after stops after stops. And, and it just comes and goes in stretches right now. You seem to be animated on the bench, Paul. I think in that stretch, is that what you were telling the guys and Doc was telling the guys that the shots may not fall, but the defense has to be there? I mean, that's what we've been saying all year long. I mean, you know, especially when we when we sub, you know. Uh, you know, there's going to be nice. You know, the shots won't fall. You know, and the one thing we can control, I think, is is our uh, intensity on the defensive end or we're consistent. Uh, but we just, you know, a little bit of we're consistent in that department. I mean, we play well for the most part. I mean, you look up, they only shoot 43% or, or whatnot. But it has to be throughout the whole game more consistency. You know, we can't give up. 17 old runs to Cleveland. We can't give up 10 old runs to Milwaukee, you know, and then decide that's when we want to play defense. You've always been big on doing what was necessary in this situation. Uh, is that kind of the case tonight? Um, I don't know. I think right now it's this point in the season where I'm in a good groove right now. Uh, uh, feeling good about my shot, feeling good about my pace in the game. Uh, just trying to do what I, I can't help this ball club win. So you guys have been trying to, uh, Docs have been trying to run you off more pick downs and things like that. The last couple, is, has it just been more of, more of a free flow for you? or? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, really, I don't know. You know, I'm playing off other guys. I'm coming off screens. I'm, you know, playing in pick and roll. I, you know, I could do a number of things out there. It's just not one thing I'm focusing on, you know, whether it's coming off the down screens. I just try to play the game. You know, I think I'm, I'm smart enough to, to understand, uh, you know, my opportunities on offense. You know, I don't come into the game saying, you know, I can, if I can get these off the down screens or the pick and rolls. I just play within the flow of the game, regardless of what it is, whether it's isolation, post-up, um, you know, guys making plays for me where I'm open, knocking down shots. You know, I just, you know, I think it's, you know, always kind of been that way for me. You know, I never know. You know how I'm, I'm a score night in, night out. You know, it just kind of goes with the flow. Yeah. Is that more comfortable though for you? Because you early in the year, you said that, that was a new thing. You haven't, you know, get, get comfortable with it. Is it getting more second nature? Yeah, I'm, I'm figuring that things out. I'm picking my spots. You know, knowing when to be aggressive, knowing uh, when to take the shots. Uh, you know, so I, it was just a matter of time of you know learning my teammates, learning uh, the system, and. Knowing that's things that we've done in the past, you know, we're, we're doing a little different this year. And, you know, I'm a smart enough player to figure it out. Paul, well, what about this road trip? Uh, starts on Christmas Day, obviously, against now a new rival for this team. What about this road trip and what you guys can accomplish starting in Brooklyn? Well, you know, hopefully, you know, this is kind of a road trip that can bring us together. Like, like I said, when you, when you struggle, you know, we kind of struggled the last road trip. Uh, this game was a must win game, you know, especially when you're on a tough road trip. But we didn't get it, so. Uh, you know, maybe this could be that road trip that gets us back going. You know, uh, you know that's where uh, you know teams can go one direction or the other. So you know, we're gonna learn a lot about ourselves on this road trip. On the three pointer, you tied the game in the regulation. You didn't have a lot of time there. Did you were you able to set yourself the way you wanted to? Or did you just have to throw it up as quick as you could? I had time to set myself. I mean, I got a good look at it. You know, I think you know the effort play was definitely there. Uh, Jeff tipped it out to me, and it just fell right to my hands in the perfect spot. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just I had plenty of time to, to square up and knock it down. What was the last shot that you 